Hello, um, in this video we're going to talk about um, set analysis and also dollar sign expansion and how to sort of debug um, any problems that you've got. Okay, so I've loaded some um, data into the um, into clip view. I've got two columns, I've got day and I've got value and um, we can sort of scroll down. It's just sort of nonsense really and they just sort of increments up. we we'll just give an example and I've also looked at what's today's date so we're just before christmas um, and that's the expression that i'm using to create that obviously without the little apostrophe there just so you can see it so it's just equals today so what i want to do is let's say I've, I've made a few attempts at this i probably dive straight in but it's not worked so i need to sort of scroll roll back now and think right how do i do this step by step uh, for set analysis so what I want to do is, going back to the original problem, is I want to um, just give me the value um, for today. And that's all I want to do. Um, so what we can do um, is we go into here um, and create a new expression. So or some value, we can also copy it as well um, and just make a duplicate of that. So what I want to do first, now let's, again, for instance, on this example, we've already tried just doing it straight away and it's not worked. Um, so we're going to break it down. So here, we we'll put in the brackets and the greater than equals sign. So we are starting the set analysis. And the field we want to change is date. And we want it to equal today's date. Now, obviously we can do that with dollar expansion, um, but it didn't work. And I'm just going to show you why. So we're trying to do two things at once really on this video. So that is today's date. So that's the expression. Obviously, we're going to make it dynamic because that'll be just fixed and that will always be um, that. If we OK that and apply it, let's have a quick look. So the new expression has come in, but we can see straight away that nothing is bringing back a total. And if we just disable this first one, we can see, yep, yeah, absolutely nothing is being brought back for that value at all. So we enable that. What I'll do first of all here, we have got a label um, for both of these. Usually what you type in, because no one likes to see a horrible label. But really, the idea of this is the horrible label, which is the expression, is really good for you. And definitely when you get to some dollar expansion. But here we can see what we've typed, and we think, well, 21st for 12th, that's right. 21st for 12th, why is it not bringing, let's just type this in, 21st, oops, 21st for 12th. Ah, 21st of the 12th is not bringing anything back. But we can go down here, 21st of 12th, and we can see it. It's 355, but it's not bringing anything back. So what we need to do is look at our data table. And this is the first thing. I'm showing this as an example around dates, because dates can often be quite tricky. What you've got to get in here is the actual value which is in your data. Now, dashboards can go through all the iterations. People can put them in one way, and then they can change um, the format. They can override the document and change the format, and that can be a bit misleading when you look at that. So when you're ever doing this, you always should go back. If it's not working, go back onto the data, look at the format of the data, and say, ah, it has to be in this format. Okay, so it's year, month, and then day. So we close that. And we go back into the expression and change it to year, month, day. And it's the 21st. Okay, apply that. Can't quite see. There we go. We can see it now. 355 and again if we were just to disable this first one we're in our space a little bit on here yeah but we can see it's coming back to 21st at all so we know that that works okay we know that works so we'll make a copy of this paste it down now we need to change this to be the dollar, dollar sign expansion so if we were to do this for example equals Today, today, I can't spell, today, there we go, that's, that's the same expression but within the dollar sign expansion, so dollar brackets and then a closing bracket, so it gets a bit confusing but if you, if you do it bit by bit you'll know you'll get all the brackets in there. So if we okay that, 
and we look at that again bringing back zero but if we look here now because we don't have a label in there we can see how click view has passed as as set the expression before it's been passed to the click view calculation engine so this one we've typed it in and we know we typed it in right we bring back a value this one's using the function but we can see straight away that it's in the wrong order it's using that and it should be that because we know that because we've just debugged it so the way to go about it we go back go into here wrap the whole lot in a date function put a bracket at the end this is where it gets a bit tricky. That last bracket is obviously the dollar sign expansion now. Um, yeah, that's the dollar one. So we need to go back another one in here, and that's for the date. That makes sense. Um, what we can do is go year, 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 month, month, day, day. That okays everything. Yeah, it's giving us a bit of a this is not right kind of quickly line but it is actually right so we apply that okay and now we can see that those two expressions match exactly and we've got that so that's just a little tip um, around set analysis ensuring that the the value that you're looking for is what it is in the data model not necessarily what you can see on the on the dashboard um, in order to work and the other thing as well is to when you're using dollar expansion taking the label out of a straight table uh, you'll be able to see exactly what click view is, is in, in effect writing for you in order to to create the expression and if it isn't I don't and, and again I would say if you can't get it right straight away with dollar expansion take a step back and just type in what you think it should be um, check that works first before you then try and replicate it in dollar expansion it's a short video. I hope it's been of help. Anyway, I um, hope you have a Merry Christmas and um, yeah, see you soon.